<laughs> let's go. I can say this before the show starts. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Welcome in, Steve. Welcome in, everybody. It's Zen's Kitty. Adio! Let's fucking go! <laughs> Let's fucking go. Welcome in, Lux. Oh, shadow yourself. So awesome. Art man! I can do all this shit before this before the show starts. Scott! Let's fucking go! Jay, before don't tape anything, Jay. Ready? One last one. Ready, guys? Let's fucking go! <laughs> before he starts taping everything. Scan! Hi, everyone. Let's go. Okay. All right. Um, a, uh, we're waiting for DJ NorCal. Is she here, DJ NorCal? DJ Brad, thank you so much for the favorite. How are you? NorCal, there she is. Okay, so NorCal, Emoji J is here, Artman is here, and Steven is here. Thank you so much, NorCal! Thank you for the love! Everybody is here, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'll do the introduction, and then I'll have you all in the box so you understand what's happening. I have to put my glasses on so I can see what I got to read because there's a lot to read. Thank you so much for the favorite, you guys. Thank you so much for the love and the support. I really appreciate that. All right, so here we go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to POFs, Plenty of Fish, Make a Match. I'm your host, Miss CW. This show it takes place every Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'd like to acknowledge and thank the admins for being here and also for their support during this broadcast, as well as your, you, the viewers, and the show participants. So I appreciate all of you taking your time to come here today. Hi, Jason. This featured show falls under the dating umbrella. However, this is not a date. The viewers and I will choose the best suited match that we believe has the highest compatibility over age, location, or their appearances. There are two rounds of questions as we get closer to understanding the compatibility based on their responses. At the end of the first round, I'll eliminate one participant who I believe is least compatible. At the end of the second round, I'll take a viewer poll and get your opinion on who you think is the best match. And I'll write my choice down. Let's see if we can make a match as this unfolds round by round. If you'd like to participate in a future show, please add my, add my Instagram, which can be found in my profile. As with a featured show, please refrain from using profanity Keep the comments positive and uplifting. Please do not smoke if you're a game participant. We are unable to we are unable to pay full attention to all the comments and acknowledge the gifts, but we do appreciate it. Also, favor the show participants and go to their live streams and show them some love and build friendships too. Now let's get down to business and meet our contestant and participants. So let's give a warm welcome to DJ NorCal, Emoji J, Artman, and Steven. The first one that I would like to request in the box is DJ NorCal. So DJ NorCal will be, um, will be our contestant, and Emoji J, Artman, and Steven are the participants. Okay, so here's NorCal. Hello. Hi. You look great as ever. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you wanting to participate in the show. So thank you for that. Thank you so very much. Absolutely. Absolutely. I enjoy um, uh, supporting the featured content creators on the app. I'm all about it. I'm here for it. I am looking for my future husband, baby daddy. We're the baby daddies. Raise the hand if you're a baby daddy. If you can want to be my baby daddy, okay? Bring it on. <laughs> okay, well, you, you're you going to see if you can um, are compatible with possibly three of them. We've got Emoji J, Artman, and Steven. Okay? So it's Emoji J. a relationship for me. Emoji J, <laughs> Artman, and Steven can now request the box. So this is Artman. Hello. Artman, nice to meet you. 
Here is Steve. Hi, Steve. Hey. Thank Hello, you so much, Steve. Steve. Okay, and Emoji J. There he is! I was wondering what was going on if my internet was going crazy or whatever. Hi, everybody. He's all Hello. laid back. Hello. Okay, so what we're going to do is in this first part of the game, you guys are going to give us a little bit of information about you and uh, let us know uh, just a little history about yourselves and then we'll take it with questions. But remember, the questions you guys ask each other, it's not anything that I, I set up. You guys just come randomly asking questions. Hopefully you have at least five or six questions in, in line. So let's start with NorCal. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, on the app, I am DJ NorCal. Everybody knows me as DJ NorCal. I have 18 DJ battles underneath my belt. I've been on the app for three and a half years. I still have not met my soulmate. He's out there. I thought he was a pterodactyl, but uh, maybe he's not a pterodactyl. Maybe he's one of you three. So um, I'd like to get to know all three of you um, and uh, figure out uh, maybe if we have some compatibility. Very good. Artman, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Artman. <laughs> I have a feature show on the app. I do fake facts every Wednesday, 12 a.m., 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, we talk about silly laws and stuff. Um, I'm a huge fan of NorCal. I've been to like every one of her DJ battles. I know Emoji J, Steven, I'll get to know you, but feel free. Um, Emoji J is my admin, so um, I've been on the app about three years. Uh, I am a retired uh, submariner from the from the Navy, so um, I'm out here, I'm looking to, 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 to mingle. I'm single, I'm, I'm a Pringle, I'm ready to mingle. NorCal, what do you say, what do you say? <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about it. I like Pringles, oof. That was quite, the, quite a nice I'm introduction, good. I have to say. Okay, Steve. Um, so my name's Steve. I've been streaming for around three years myself. I started off doing an interview show and a game show every week. I then took some time out of the app for some personal reasons and then come back as a music streamer. So I now host different music nights and different events. Last year, I hosted my first ever music auction with a little bit of a twist where someone had to have a name change to a music artist rather than your standard, you know, your funny names and stuff like that. And I've been single for around two years and I'm waiting to get snapped up with someone who is in love with music just as much as I am. Wonderful. Oh, I see some compatibility, you know, I DJ, sure do. music, you like to host events. Oof. I it's see some compatibility here. already. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Emoji J. What do you got over there? Um, I'm Emoji J. I've known Nortel since she started the app. Um, <laughs> then she started her DJ battles too. I helped her with those. And uh, I don't know. I'm an admin for a lot of shows on the app. So if anybody wants to be on the show, hit me up or Nortel or, or Moody, but he's not in here. Um, I don't know what else to say. Ask me questions, I'll answer. But are you single, baby? Yes. Okay, that's, that's what we want to know. Single, we just want to get down you. to the single part. We just want to get down to the single, single, single part. Okay, single all right. For you. Single for me, oof, hello. So you've known them all for a long time, except for Steve, is that correct? Yes, yes, look at that fresh meat, oof. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> go easy on them go easy on them let's break them in easy. all right all right like so, this <laughs> so let's start let's start with round one of the questions so if you're just joining us welcome to make a match with misty w i'm your host this is a featured show on plenty of fish um we're ready to start two rounds of questions at the end of this round, we will eliminate one person and then we'll move to round two, asking a series of uh, more questions. And then at that point, we'll take a poll from the viewers. We'll find out who they picked for you, as well as I will make my choice. And then we'll call you back into the box, NorCal, and we'll ask you 
who you picked as your final um, compatibility match. Okay, so let's start uh, with the first round of questions and you start NorCal. Oh, I get to ask them questions. Yes, I was do. thinking, you know, what's your credit score? Like, do you floss every night? <laughs> How's your relationship with your mama? How many baby mamas you got? I mean, I got a lot of questions, but oh, <laughs> I'll Lord. stick with I'll you stick can, with some. Hey, you can stick with two. Like you can say, you know, uh, have you ever been? Like you said, have you ever been mar ever been married? You have kids? Um, Absolutely, I'm kidding. And everybody who knows me, I'm always kidding in my in my stream. But um, but but for real Z, for real Z. Okay, so if you guys really had an opportunity to uh, take me out on a date. Like seriously, take me out on a date. What would that What would that date look like? Okay, Art Man. Oh, I get to go first. Yes. I mean, I've I've always wanted to go to the garbage dump on my first date, so one of those. <laughs> she, there's a joke behind that. Never mind. Um, no, actually, uh, I would. Uh, I, I like being myself. I like to cook myself, right? If if I can go out and I could make a picnic basket with food that I've cooked and prepared go out to like a nice park or beach setting on a first date to get to know someone that's fantastic rather than going to a movie where or a, a concert or something where it's kind of loud you can't hear them you're like hey what do you say you know you want to be able to uh, engage with that person so that's what I would like to do and a after that do a little bit of walking around maybe grab some ice cream and then uh, you know right home so I I'm really uh, kind of gentle I guess at first when you first meet me but there's there's other wild sides to me too so that's me Okay. Okay. I hear wild side. I'm like, Ooh, okay. That, that we might save that for a little bit later. <laughs> hold, hold on. Hold, 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 hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Apparently art man's got a wild side. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. So, uh, Steve, Steve, it sounds like you live maybe far from me. I am from the UK. Yes. I'm in London. Yes. Okay. And living so far away, how, how how would we actually make a relationship happen? Well, that's I, no problem because I've got my own private jet, so we can just fly in and out of the country anytime we want to. So day or night. Ding 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 ding! I got a winner. <laughs> Let me I already know picked a winner. <laughs> <laughs> Now that's heavy. All right, that's <laughs> round trip. I like that. Mm-hmm. All right, that's interesting. Go, okay. cool, Steve. Bonus, bonus, bonus points for you. Ooh. Very much so. <laughs> Emoji J. Emoji J. Well, I can't be the private jet. So <laughs> you can't beat the private jet. Okay, that's okay. But I'm gonna give you another another question. All right. Um, are you, are you, are you a domesticated kind of guy or do you expect me to be in the kitchen cooking and cleaning and just, you know, making sandwiches on your request? I mean, I believe that things should work out 50, 50, right? Like I know some people don't believe that, but I mean, I think things should be shared. That should be shared. Especially when you're in a relationship. I mean, that's like down the line when you get married or whatever, but. Oh, so when we get married, you expect me to be in the kitchen making you sandwiches. I, I said 50 50. Listen to the whole statement. The whole okay, statement. I, just, I, I want 50, some clarity. 50. I want some clarity because if I'm signing up for something, I want to know ahead. I want to know in advance what I'm signing up for. But yeah, no, everything should be shared, you know, equally. Tash should be shared equally in a relationship, I think. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So is that the bills too? Or are you looking for a sugar mama? I mean, bills too, yeah. Okay. All right. I mean, you guys got to make it work, especially in this, in this day you know, and age, right? Yeah, you know, but what if I wanted to stay home and be like, you know, a housewife? That's fine. Ooh. All right. He supports that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. Well, let me just do another quick introduction. I noticed there was some new people coming in. So hello, everyone, and welcome to Plenty of Fishes Make a Match Compatibility Featured Show. 
which takes place every Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'd like to acknowledge and thank all my admins for their support during this broadcast, the viewers, and of course, our show participants. I really appreciate all of you taking the time to be here. This featured show falls under the dating umbrella. However, this is not a date. The viewers and I choose the best suited match based on compatibility only that we believe is the highest compatibility, sorry. It has nothing to do with age, location or their appearance. There are two rounds. We are starting in our first round of questions now, and we're end having a better understanding of the compatibility between the contestants. At the end of the second round, the viewers will also participate in a poll, and you will tell me who you think is the most compatible with Nor NorCal. Um, I will also write down my answer, and then we'll get NorCal's opinion NorCal's answer on who she feels is best compatible with her. Also, if you'd like to participate in a future show, please add my Instagram, which can be found in my profile. Mm -hmm. As with any featured show, please refrain from using profanity. Keep the comments positive and uplifting. Please, no smoking in the boxes, as you guys know, as being participants. We are unable to full, pay full attention to all the comments that are being made during the show, but we do appreciate you being here and we do appreciate the gifts that are received. We also like you to take a moment to please favor the participants, go to their streams, support them and make new fr friendships. Now let's get back down to business and let's finish our round one of questions. So NorCal, would you like to ask another question? Absolutely, absolutely. So Art Man, um, if you and I decided that we were, you know, a mate, our mates, soulmates, and I wanted to have more kids, how would that look like for you? So I love kids. I absolutely do. I, uh, I grew up in a family of 14. Um, I have a lot of brothers and sisters. Um, I myself, I have three girls right now. Um, however, um, I, on a personal note, I can't have any more kids. Not not that I don't want to have any more kids. I can't have any more kids. I I I, I went through a procedure to get that taken care of because I want to I wanted to make sure that when my girls were growing up, I wanted to make sure they had enough uh, funds and everything to to raise them correctly, and I didn't want to have to have them struggle like my mom did. So that's. That's it. I mean, I absolutely, I absolutely love kids. I mean, I'm all into adoption. I don't think I'll be able to have kids. So. Okay. Well, I appreciate your honesty. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you and, oh, I'm sorry. I just thought you were going to go across the board with the question. Sorry. Uh, okay. I mean, we could, we could do this. We could definitely do the same I'm question. I'm very curious how they respond to it. <laughs> so, I'm on the way, by the way. I'm going to just order my private jet now. Okay. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Bring the roses, baby. Bring the champagne and a bottle. <laughs> um, I haven't got any kids um, okay. at present. Um, I'm always open um, to having some in the future. Um, I'm looking to have, ideally, 19 kids with a 20-bedroom house. So. Whoa. I hope you like living in a mansion. Uh, do I get a nanny? That's perfect. Okay. I need two. I two. I need two nannies, maybe. <laughs> maybe two. Maybe two. Maybe two. Okay. And uh, emoji J. I have a daughter. Uh, she's uh -huh. eighteen. Um, she lives with her mom. She doesn't live here. But I'm always open to more kids. So I like kids. Like kids. Yeah. Okay. How many kids? 20, I don't know, 25, <laughs> 25, let's go with 100, no, just kidding, I don't know, two, three, uh, okay, two or three, maybe four so to make it even, I'm just saying, I just say, so it sounds like you're not opposed to having more children, right, and Steve doesn't have any children, so he would love to have children, now, NorCal, let me ask you the question, do you have any children? I do. I actually do. My okay. son is 17. Okay. Um, I was a single mom uh, for uh, the last uh, several years of his life. 
Um, I co-parent very well with his dad. Um, we, we are very civil. He is just about to enter his senior year in high school. He is off uh, to college next year. My whole thing about kids, um, I, I am not down at, um, you know, uh, the doctors checking my biological clock. Um, I can't have more kids. Um, I'm not like worried about having kids. I've done that. But if I met someone who really wanted to have kids, I would actually be open to having kids. You would be open to having a, a, a more children. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Now we're going to go with um, Artman, and he's going to ask you uh, two questions. Oof. Surprise, surprise. Um, <laughs> the tables have turned. Yeah, I didn't realize I had, I, I didn't have questions prepared. My bad. Oh, um, you did. <laughs> don't feel that same. <laughs> I don't, I don't here's remember. Your, here's your moment. Here's your moment. What, what is, what is more important to you in, in your life? You have, you have a son, right? And I'm not saying your son's not important. Is it more finances or more love? You gotta have the, you gotta have the finances in order to take care of things, but you gotta have the love in the family to take care of things. So what is more important in your life prevalent? Okay. So I make my own money. I'm very independent. Um, I have a nice career. Um, I pay my own bills. Um, so financially I'm fine. Um, if I were in a relationship with a man uh, who makes more money, um, I would be okay with that. Um, I don't have to be like the head of the household. Um, I mean, it would be nice to have a participating partner in, you know, the house contributing to the, you know, overhead of all the bills. Um, love, you know, uh, I'd like to meet someone and fall in love for who they are, but they can't be broke, broke. Okay. You can't be, you know, taking me out on your EBT card. That is not going to work. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. You cannot be living with your mama in the basement. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, okay. If you are at McDonald's, you know, you got a jobby job. I am super proud of you, but you better have a five-year goal to be the manager of that joint because I ain't waiting around for you to be flipping some burgers, you know, hamburgers, you know, <laughs> um, and living off a, living off a, you know, a very, you know, minuscule paycheck because I can't do that. I'm not anybody's sugar mama. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, do you want to go to Stephen? You want my second question? No, second no, question. Is, we're going to do your two questions now. Yeah. Okay. So second question is why haven't you answered me in the DMs? I'm just, I'm kind of, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, lock, 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 what what is most uh, observant to you? Is it their looks, their paycheck, or is it their personality? Their if they if they can make you laugh and make you want to be with them, is that more prevalent than anything else? I like the word well, prevalent I mean, today. I think all the women are gonna answer this question. Okay, we don't want a guy who looks like Hunchback Notre Dame. Okay, we don't want we don't want someone who is out there. <laughs> on the streets, looking like he's homeless, you know? So um, looks are, you know, they gotta wash. They gotta wash themselves at least once a day. At least brush and floss your teeth, please. Brush and floss your fangs, okay? That's all I ask as far as looks. You know, clean up, a little aftershave in the pits. Um, you know, that's, that's all what we girls really, really would, would like. Um, <laughs> but financially it doesn't really matter about finances because obviously i can um i can take care of myself i'm a big girl but as far as like the compatibility i'm being honest here uh the this point this is the part that i'm being honest with the compatibility 
has to be there. You ha I have to have some type of chemistry. It's not a guy who can make me laugh every day, okay? It's not a, it's not a guy who can woo me behind closed doors every day. It is really someone who shows up and has something to bring to the table and who is present every single day because I want someone to be there through thick and thin. If I'm having a bad day, you, you, you be there for me. Okay. It does. It doesn't take much. It does not take much. All, all us girls want is just to be heard. Okay. Just to be heard, just listen, you know? So I think the compatibility is probably the most, um, uh, um, uh, present in my life is the, the compatibility um, level that we have. Yeah. So I'm just going to take a moment just to plug the show again. So we have new people coming in so they understand what's happening. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Plenty of Fish <clears throat> Make a Match Compatibility Featured Show, <clears throat> which takes place every Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, like all choked up. I like to acknowledge and thank the admins for their support during this broadcast, the viewers for being here, thank you, and also my show participants. This featured show falls under the umbrella of, of dating. However, it's not a, an actual date. The viewers and I choose the best suited match over age, location, or even on their appearances. There will be two rounds of questions. We are in round one now. And after this round, we will eliminate one person. Then we will ask more questions in round two. And then we will take a poll from the viewers and you will tell us who you think is most compatible with NorCal. NorCal will come back into the box and she will present her answer to all of us of who she picked. I will also write my answer down on a piece of paper and see if we can make a match. So we are again in round one of questions. And we're going to go to Stephen, who's going to ask two questions to NorCal. So my first question is, you mentioned about in the future, maybe having kids. Um, what about marriage? Are you open for marriage in the future? Absolutely. So I believe that marriage has to come first before, uh, for me, this late stage in my life, I am not going to uh, be with someone, have a baby, and not go through the proper steps of um, getting married, you know, getting to know someone, getting married, you know, obviously, and then having kids. And mainly, I think because it is, um, it would behoove me to get married, especially if I'm having a baby with somebody. And that's financial reasons, obviously. And when it comes to custody and things like that, um, you know, the, the man has to, you know, be there um, and support me as a mom of his, of his child or children. Um, and if something ever happened, I would hope that our finances were put together and set up, you know, with a, with a trust account, you know, making sure that, you know, I'm taking care of, and, and that's just being honest. It's not being a gold digger. It's just making sure that your affairs are in set in order. Mm -hmm. Trust account, life insurance, all of that is set up. Um, in the event that you never know that my uh, husband, the father of my child passes away, I've had three deaths in my family in the last past mm -hmm. three years, and I have set myself up for success Lear from the learning process of losing family members myself. And um, I would hope that everyone would do that when they're deciding to get married talk about those things um, in the event that you do lose your husband and you become a single mom. Mm -hmm. Or vice versa. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay my, se <clears throat> my second question is, we go out on a date and we go to a karaoke bar. What song would you pick for us to do a duet to? Ooh! Oh! Oh! My, my heart's pitter patter. My heart is pitter. <laughs> okay. You like karaoke. Let's go. Let's go. Mama wants to go. Mama wants to go down the bar tonight. Sunday fun day. <laughs> um, so my favorite duet is Kid Rock and Cheryl Crow picture. And I do, I sing that song myself and I would love to have a 
participating partner seeing Kid Rock. So if I picked you and you picked me, Steve, we might be singing, you know, Kid Rock picture with and I'll be the, and I'll be your Cheryl Crow. Sounds good to me, definitely. Very nice. Okay, Jay. Um, mine are going to be pretty simple questions. Um, that wasn't prepared like Art Man. Um, <laughs> let's see. Where Where in the world would you like to go on a honeymoon if we got married? Okay, so I am. Uh, I'm not into spending a lot of money. Okay. I am very frugal. Okay. Even though I talk about being bougie and doing fun stuff, all, us girls can always dream. Right. Um, but it does not have to be the bougie. We're going to Paris, um, you know, or we're going, we're, we're going to travel the world, you know, for whatever, however time you have off. Um, you know, it could be as easy as a stay vacation. It could be out on the coast because California is absolutely beautiful where I live. Um, I live in Napa Valley. So everywhere in Napa Valley, you know, it is beautiful. You could just rent a little, you know, um, house and, you know, enjoy the country, go wine tasting. Um, but I am actually, you know, I'm open. I'm actually open to my husband's decision. If he wanted to go all out and we had the money, that's fine. But I always would like to spend that money maybe in an investment, you know, like putting a down payment on a rental so we can set our kids up for success in the future instead of blowing it and going to Mexico and getting drunk and, uh, you know, who knows what happens after that. But you know, I, I, I'm open. I'm open to going wherever my husband uh, would like to go. But I would suggest to him that we are conservative, especially in this day and age, and spend that money and invest it somewhere, and kind of keep him on track. You know, I think that's what wives need to do. Keep the men on track. Yes, keep you on track. All right. Um, second question. I don't know if I have a second question. Um. Can I skip a second question? I have really nothing. You don't have anything else? All right. Else. Um, dig um, deep. Dig deep, Emoji G. I know you got something in there. I got no, everybody answered all the important stuff. All right, so I'll, ask, like, I'll ask a question. I'll, I'll ask, ask can I ask yeah. a question to all of you? Sure. I, I have a question. If you could change one thing about yourself, if you could just change one thing about yourself, what would it be? NorCal. Uh, okay, so we're not perfect. I'm exactly. Not perfect. I'm not perfect. Um, I, I definitely would not get any um, Botox or, you know, lift, you know, plump, you know, any of that kind of stuff, because I think that's a waste of money. Um, what would I do change about myself? One, just one thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I think to be more patient. All right to be more patient. Um, I'm kind of a type of person who I'm goal oriented. I want things done. I want it now. Um, and, um, I've got to slow down and just let those things fall in place. Um, they, they do eventually, but for me, it causes me to have a little bit of anxiety, you know, and I need to know that I can't control how things pan out and how they shake out. So I think I need to become a little more patient with myself and with others and things take their course eventually. Correct. Yes. Good answer. How about you, Art Man? I mean, other than these epic eyebrows, NorCal, um, I would uh, definitely go with a uh... <laughs> Another inside joke. Sorry. The um, it's the eyebrows for me. It's the eyebrows for you. No, the uh, so I I tend to give a lot more than I think I should. And when I say when I say that, I don't mean it in a bad way. I think sometimes I run myself rampant trying to help other people rather than take care of myself. I uh, you sound very compassionate. I'm I'm a very compassionate person. I I I would. If, if I saw someone that needed the shirt off my back, that's me. I would take them. I don't even have to know them. And 
I'll tell you this, I've done it before. So um, th that's me. And I, I just sometimes there's, I don't feel I get enough in return people. That's, you know, I mean, that's how I feel. But uh, that, that would be one, that's kind of one downfall for me. I, I give a little bit more than what I think I should. How about you, Steve? Um, I would change the location of where I'm living. So I would have moved to California 15 years ago, so I could have met NorCal <laughs> and we'd be married already. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> That's heavy. Ooh. He's a time traveler. Wow. Oh, okay. Wow. I that like was, that. Very like interesting that. response. <laughs> oh, my. He's got, a, he's got a time traveling jet. Oof. <laughs> oh, my. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Jay, let's hear it, Mr. Recliner. Uh, yeah, I would, I'm going to have to say the same thing. I would want to be in a different location, honestly. Wait, where, where would you like to be? I don't know. Maybe on the East Coast somewhere. Maybe Further away from me. He's running. He's running I mean, from me. I'm not He's running. A runner. I'm, He's a runner. I'm, He's I'm a track star. Where <laughs> I would like to go, you know, what I would change is my location. I don't know, explore different places. You know what I mean? Wait, 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 I that honey, more. that does not sound like the five-year plan with me, baby. Come on. Where, where, that's, where do, where do like I live? Where do I live? Do you see the name? It will, it, yes, it, yes, it's yes, obvious. two hours away. I got it, it's I get you. Obvious. But you want to go all the way to the East like Coast. This. Let's, you, yeah, let's travel, let's travel the world. He, 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 he's like, he's one of those brides, you know, runaway bride. He, he likes world. he likes women to chase him apparently. Yeah. But everybody else is in the in the chats like I'm in California. They look. We should bring them up in here too. Okay, okay, so I'm just gonna take a moment. If people are coming into the stream, what's happening here? I'm just gonna let them know what we're doing, and then we'll get back into um, probably in start making a decision, and then move into round two. Okay. So hello everyone and welcome to Plenty of Fish Make a Match Compatibility Game. I'm your host, Ms. CW. I'd like to acknowledge and thank the admins for their support during this broadcast, the viewers for being here as well, and my show participants. Um, this feature show falls under the umbrella of dating. However, this is not a true date. The viewers and I choose the best suited match that we believe has the highest compatibility over age, location, or even their appearances. There will be two rounds of questions. We are just finishing up round one. And then one of our show participants is going to be leaving shortly. Then we will go into round two, ask some more questions. Then we are going to take a viewer poll to find out who you think is the perfect match for NorCal. I will write my answer down on a piece of paper and then we'll call NorCal back into the stream, back into the live with me and we'll find out her answer. If you'd like to participate in a future show, please add my Instagram, which can be found in my profile. As with any featured show, please refrain from any profanity, keep the comments positive and uplifting. We are unable to pay full attention to all of the comments that are being made, but we do appreciate you being here. And we also like to thank you for the gifts that are received. Please favor the show participants, go into their streams, make some new friendships along the way. Also favorite me, come back anytime. I love to see you. And thank you so much again for being here. So we're gonna go back into now, we're gonna make a decision. I've been thinking about this because usually at the end of round one, I make the decision, but I've been starting to think more about that and maybe getting your opinion, NorCal, on who since this is best compatibility with you, but I, it's not even about being right or wrong. I just, I guess I want you to be happy with the final choice. So I actually started thinking that maybe you should make that call rather than me on this show. Ooh. I have an idea. I will tell you who I think should go at this point in time, but ultimately you tell me if I made that, if I made the right choice, how about that? But you do choose who, who goes, okay? How about that? So I'm going to base my decision just on the questions that were asked and how he answered it. And I'm going to say, Jay goes. <laughs> Jay. I love you, baby. I mean, oh, you man. Jay. Darn. What? Jay's, no, a, no, Jay's, a, Jay's, a, Jay's a runner. He's a track star. 
he, he running exactly. from me. Uh, honey, he's I don't running, chase. Yes. I, I don't chase men. You know, have fun on the East Coast, baby. Oh, no, um, she's letting you unfortunately, go. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I I am not an East Coast kind of girl. You I'll know, I am end. from. I'm from California. Yes, don't, don't, Jay, please don't leave. Well, naturally, we love to have you still in the show to watch the final outcome here. But uh, so it looked like you agreed with my decision there. Okay. So Bye, now you're going to get Bye, into <laughs> you, you agreed with my decision. So good. This is, so far, we're, we're on track. So now we're going into round two. And you guys are going to ask each other one question. I'm just watching the time. So now we're just going to ask one question. Uh, NorCal, what would you like to ask Artman? Oh, wow. Okay, we we back <laughs> at it. We We're back we, at it. We <laughs> back at it. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. So, um, I I've been known to uh, you know wake wake myself up snoring. Now, in in a case of that. Would you would you consider uh, if it kept you up at night? Would you consider separate bedrooms? Wow, that's an interesting question. Um, not necessarily separate bedrooms. I, I think, and I, I think to be in a relationship, you don't necessarily have to sleep in the same bed. If that's if that's what you are, you know, you're compatible like that. That's fine. Uh, a, a true couple uh, would I would help you find out what exactly is wrong. Do you have some an underlying issue? Do you have uh, a, you know something that makes you somewhere that could be fixed? You know, so I would be there to try to fix that for you rather than try to separate myself in order to make myself feel better. Okay, so you get me down to the doctors. You'd be like, fix her, <laughs> doctor, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> she is broken. Remedy to make you. She is broken. I didn't realize when I got her that she was broken and she snores all night and she keeps you up all night. Where, where are the receipts? Where's the? Re I want to return this one. This one's broken. I need, I need to take her back. Do I? Can I get the same model, but just one that doesn't snore? <laughs> wow. Why not? <laughs> I'm wild too right now. Okay. Um, okay. How about Steven or Steve? Sorry. How would you uh, handle that? So I'm actually quite a heavy sleeper. So unless you snore like a steam train, I'm probably going to sleep through it and I won't notice if I'm being honest. So I could literally sleep with my music full blast. Oh. And I'll be out like a count. I'll be out for a count. So. Okay, wow. so he's like, I'm gonna be cuddled up next to you like a little baby. I'll be the big spoon, or you want me to be the little spoon? Because it ain't gonna affect me. Snore, snore all you want, girl. Snore all you want. Okay. So we like got that. a little bit of one who would be sleeping, and one who would be trying to, you know, help you to fit, you know, figure out what's causing it, and maybe remedy. The situation. Okay, very interesting. Well, That's how that we got um, a, a very different <laughs> style right there. This is this is huge. So this is something to keep in mind. All right. So um, what is uh, another question that you like to ask? Do you have another question, or would you like me to have them ask a question? Yeah. Let's see what the boys got to say. Okay. Let's go. Art man. Okay, Noelle. If if we were together, uh, a couple per se. And I noticed like, I wake up one morning and you're not there. I'm like, oh, she's on her way to work. And I, and I wanna say, hey, NorCal, I love you. Do you prefer a text, an email, or do you prefer FaceTime? Okay, so the moment I hit my feet on the floor, I am off like a jet, okay? Um, I, you know, I'm busy, I'm a busy girl, um, so, FaceTime is probably not going to work because uh, I commute on the train and, I, you know, the Wi-Fi is a little janky. Um, email, I, I ain't checking my email. I'm only checking my email if I get a live fest invitation. Hello? Hello, anybody? Any, are there any admins on the app here? I'd like to get a live fest. I'm a green VIP. Please send me an invite. Hello? Hello? Knock, knock. 
Hello? Come on now. Don't, don't, don't leave this girl out. Don't leave, don't count her out. I'm gonna climb the fence. I'm gonna bring my, I'm gonna bring my wire cutters. I'm gonna get in somehow. Okay. I'm just letting you guys know. Like so, if, <laughs> yes, I'd love to go. If you just send me a text, that's fine. It's fine. You know, I'm not a needy one. I'm not that needy. I, I always end up in relationships, the guys that are more needier than I am because I'm so independent. You know, I got to go. Bye. Done. I'll so see you later. you're saying it's okay that if he doesn't text you or, or send you, you a know, message. sometimes you just can't, sometimes you're just busy, but you know, if, if, if we like communicate later on in the day, I can always see my man when I come home at night, you know, but if he, but if just, he did it, it's okay. It's not uh, like, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be upset. I, I know some girls out there would, I wouldn't be upset. No. And would you respond to him? I would respond. Yes, I would respond if it was my okay, man. Yeah. Just, 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 <clears throat> you know, I'd be like, hey, baby. All right, all right, all right, that's good. A little kissy emoji, little hug, little heart, 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 you know, a little tappy tap, you know. I do a little tappy tap back. Okay. All right. How about you, Steve? What's your question? So, my question would be now, we've been, I've been flying back and forth with my private jet for about a year now, in between a year and a year and a half. Um, I suddenly asked the question, <clears throat> would you ever consider moving to the UK? Oh, are you related to the queen? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering, cause I need, I need to know if I need to get into that protocol. I need to go to those fancy little you know, uh, finishing schools, you know, it's a, it's a lot more than that. Okay. Cause if you're going to run, if you're going to run like Prince Harry into my arms over to California, you know, it, that might, that might, I might, I might consider that, but me run into, you know, deal with, with, uh, the, the, the establishment of the UK. I don't know. Um, but I lived in Germany for two and a half years. I love Europe with that joking aside. Um, if I met someone honestly, who I fell in love with, uh, my son is right about to go to college, I would relocate. It could be the North Pole, okay? It could be Antarctica. It could be the tip of, you know, uh, some island that we've never heard of because it's n never been found, you know? It, you know, it, it, I don't think that that would uh, hold me back. Um, from being with the person that I actually felt like I had a future with. So yes, I would move to the UK, but we need to get those finishing classes. If we're going to be, you know, drinking tea yeah. with the queen, the, the queen's, the queen's offspring. Okay. It's, it's tea and crumpets. Is that it? Is that correct? Tea and biscuits. Yes. Oh, biscuits. The biscuits oh, for me, baby. <laughs> is the there such a thing as me. crumpets? <laughs> Yes, there is. Yes. Um, normally toasted uh, crumpets. Okay. They have they're had with the hot, like a hot beverage, a tea or coffee or no? Um, yeah, you can definitely have tea or coffee with them. Um, you'd have them for breakfast, for example. Um, you definitely have crumpets for breakfast. You can have anything on them, really, like normal like margarine, butter or jam. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Making okay. me hungry. <laughs> okay. Got some downstairs, actually. So, <laughs> okay, perfect. So I'm going to, I'm going to just give another quick plug about the show. So if you are new and just joining us, um, this show is hosted uh, every Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it's plenty of fishes make a match compatibility featured show. I like to acknowledge the admins for being here and supporting this broadcast. I'd like to thank you viewers for being here as well and my show participants. This feature show falls under the dating umbrella. However, this is not a actual date. The viewers and I will choose the best suited match that we believe has the highest compatibility over age, location, or even their appearance. There are two rounds of questions. We are now finishing round two and um, what's going to happen at this point is everyone will be leaving the box and I will take a poll of the viewers 
and um, you guys will tell me who you think is the most compatible match with NorCal. Is it Artman? Is it Steve? So I will now at this point in time, ask all of you guys to just be in the chat naturally. You can vote on, you can also uh, participate in the, um, in the, um, <laughs> I just, I got the, you can also participate in the poll too. So I'll put the poll out. I think we've got, I've got some pretty good ideas based on how they answered these questions. And I think all of you have the same idea and you tell me who you think, and I will write it down as well. Um, just give me a second, takes a minute to set up. All right, if you do not see the poll coming across the screen, Sometimes there's a little bit of um, a lag or sometimes it's just missing off the screen. You can actually leave the, leave the stream and, and re-enter and it may, possibly should be back up on, uh, on for you to see it across the screen at this point in time. We've got Steve and Artman, who is most compatible? You got it, you can see it? Okay, great. So this takes approximately about um, 90 seconds for the poll to actually complete. And after that, we'll call NorCal back into the stream with me. I'm going to write my answer down. Uh, if I can find a pen, something that works. I should have had a piece of paper out. Okay. I'm not even looking at what you guys, who you guys pick, but I'm, of course my pen doesn't work. Not the best one either, but, oh, wow. That's pretty. Okay. Okay. Do you guys see the results of the poll? Can you see the results of the poll? Did you see the results of that poll? The audience, the viewers have selected Steve. Okay, so NorCal, can you please re-enter the box? Hi. NorCal, you can come back in. Thank you, Vito. <laughs> I'm trying. Oh, it's not working. Maybe you might have to leave and then come back in. I think, I'm, I'm not sure. Sometimes they have these glitches and it, no problem, hon. Okay. Thank you guys for all being here. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Here we go. She left free. Okay, so the viewers have decided that the best suited match based on how the answers, uh, how they answered all these questions that went back and forth was Steve. I will also say that I picked, even though it's like barely there, I also did pick Steve. And the reason why I picked Steve was two reasons. One, you said you at the end there, you did, you did say you didn't, it didn't matter where he lived. If you had compatibility with this person, you felt that you were in love with this person, you would definitely do it. Steve also says he's got the jet, he take care of it, he make it happen. He was all in. The reason why I didn't select Art Man was um, you seem not to not like you were more a little more enchilant about the texting and you're like, yeah, what you know, not that it's a bad thing, but you were you said how you're very, very independent. And I think Art Man likes that more kind of touchy feely kind of stuff because he's very compassionate. He'll he'll give you the shirt off his back before he needs it himself. It's like you know that that life vest. He'll throw it out there for you before he he takes it for himself. 
And I just felt like Steve was more in line with you and more in line to the things that you wanted to do, especially if there was a match there that he'd be willing to even, um, you, that you would even be willing to go and uh, move. So I don't know if that's how, I don't, know, I don't know if that's how everyone else selected Steve, but that's how I selected him. So why don't you go ahead and tell us who your perfect match was? Absolutely, absolutely. And I'm just gonna give a little bit of critiquing on both of them. No problem. Um, yeah, I agree. Art Man, it will give you the shirt off their back, his back. Absolutely. Um, and he is uh, probably one of those hopeless romantics and that is not a bad thing at all. Mm -hmm. um, now with Steve, uh, it was the 20 kids and the 20 bedroom mansion and the private jet and I was kind of like, okay, you like Hugh, Hugh Hefner, like reincarnated, you, you Elon Musk, where, where you get your money from, baby? Where do you get your money from? So for me, it really comes down to honesty is the best policy. And when you are starting a relationship off, it is okay if you just got a studio apartment. I'm not saying that Steve just has a studio apartment. I'm just saying, just tell me what you got, what you're working with. And then I know exactly where I stand, okay, with the relationship, if I can move forward, but I am not having 20 kids and I am not cleaning up after your, all your kids in that 20 bedroom mansion. And even if I got two nannies, I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. Okay. I ain't doing it. I ain't, I ain't a, a baby factory. So Steve, you got to go. I appreciate, I appreciate the jet. Oh, but you know, wow. the, the money ain't going to keep me in that situation at all. Bye so boy. are you saying that the people in the stream and myself, we picked the wrong match for you? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Are you saying? Wow. Absolutely. Absolutely. You oh, gotta go Art boy. Man. <laughs> Art man, you can try to send that DM again and see what happens. I'm sorry, Steve. I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Well, I'm there's sorry a woman. There's sweetie. a woman out there for you, baby. There is a woman out there for you. I ain't her. All right, I let's her. go. I, I, uh, you know, I, I tried. I tried to make the right match, but uh, it couldn't. It couldn't happen this week. Uh, the people also spoke and, you know, we, we seem to be on the same page, but that, that, you know, it's not about us. It's about you and who you think is the best compatible match for yourself. So it's, uh, it's art man all the way. And I appreciate all of you for being here. I appreciate you taking the time again to come in. I hope you had a little bit of fun. It was a great time having Absolutely. you meeting you. Um, personally, because I've never, I've been in your stream, but I've never personally had the opportunity to meet you. So thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate it. I hope that more people would like to participate in this show. It's all about having a little bit of fun and getting to know each other. And again, please, you guys do go into the show participants, show them some love, get to know them, have some fun with them. I appreciate if you would hit them all with a favorite as well as my top three gifters and me. Come back every Sunday. I host this show. Make a match with CW. And it's time to wrap things up. I appreciate again for all your help. Admins, thank you so much for your support. And I will see all of you next Sunday where I try to make another match again. We'll see you then. Five o'clock. Don't forget. Mark your calendars. I hope to see you guys next Sunday at 5 p.m. Thanks again so much for being here. Bye.